Time now for Ask Guru, and here's this really interesting question on the NDTV second screen from so, Born. Uh, he what says, do you mean? Is that is that his state, as in he's born, or is that his name? He says born free. That's what <laughs> that's what it says. Okay. Okay. So, all right, so what, what Born's asking is that is it better to have quad core with one GB RAM or dual core with two GB RAM? So it's an interesting question, but you know one that may not really be happening in real life because the minute you up the processor, it means a better phone. So therefore, the RAM does tend to be a little bit more. But but I think the basic I think the basic question is is the quad core and all of that more important or the amount of memory you have? And I have to say in this. It's one of the. I've been one of the people who has always believed that RAM is a really important. So thing. that's a very old. And have as much memory as you possibly so can. So that's that's a very old school answer from the computer world. And but it still strangely works. enough, it's still, still correct. Works. It still it's works. still when you're getting a phone, right, the Samsung yeah. S5. One of the biggest questions that people are asking is, it's only GB. got two GB yeah. of RAM. Why not the three And considering GB. that Google and Samsung itself are and using a one one and a half. Why not have more memory? Memory is not that expensive. So, so I, I have to say that especially now with mobile phones and the way operating systems are working, a dual core, quad core, and anything octa core and whatever else may come afterwards, these are becoming just spec wars. A dual core is enough to run Android, enough to run you know iOS, anything that you can really throw at it. It's really not about the core. But it, do get the, as much memory as you as can. As you get. can. I mean, it's, you will never ever suffer because you have more memory. That's for sure.